Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the sales return and refund in Odoo 17. Sometimes the customers may return the items that they have purchased. The returning reason of the item will be different for different individuals. So it is advisable to use a return policy and a refund option to make the things smoother. With a good return policy, the customer will be more relaxed and happy with their purchase and which eventually brings a trust between the customer and the vendor. So let's see how can we manage the sales return and refund policy in Odoo 70. So let's see how can we manage the sales return in Odoo 70. For that, you can just go to the sales module. And uh, we are going to create an order for the customer Cybrosis. Uh, for the product cable management box here you can set the quantity and you can just save and confirm the order so as we just confirmed the order you can see that the quotation has moved from uh, quotation to sale order now we have to create an invoice for this so we can just create a regular invoice and let's confirm the uh, invoice and let's register the payment so here you can see that we are requesting um, the customer to make the payment. So let's click on create payment and after reconciliation, the payment will be moving to the bank. But we haven't delivered the item yet. So let's move on to the sales order and here you can see the delivery and we are going to process the order. So you can just click on validate button to make the delivery. So as the item is delivered to the customer, the received item is damaged. So the customer thought of returning the item to the um, company itself. So um, if the customer wants to return the item, the customer can choose the return button. So the customer is going to return the item. And here we can see that the customer has demanded for one quantity of the product. That's why the quantity is set as one. And if you want to just uh, change the quantity, like if the customer uh, has demanded for 100 quantity and uh, three among them, as damage uh, we can just return that three items so currently we have only one item so we are going to return that one item so let's return the item so as uh, the item is returning to the company itself the source document will be in such a way of uh, return of the reference number here you can see that and now we are going to validate that process so uh, here now we have just returned the item so as we have just returned the item, uh, you can see that the um, a smart button uh, will be triggered here that shows the number of items that is returned as well as we have just made two deliveries. One is uh, delivered from the company to the customer side as the demand of the customer and uh, as the product is um, damaged, the customer has uh, just returned the item from customer side to the company side. So here you can see two delivery will be created. Now, as the item is delivered, I mean return to the uh, company, uh, the customer must receive a refund for the item because he has made a payment. So in order to, in order to receive the payment, let's move on to the invoices that we have created. And here we have an option to add the credit note. So here you can just give the reason to display in the credit note. So here we have just re received the damaged items and we can give the reason for that and let's click on reverse and create an invoice for this. So if you want to just create an invoice and reverse this, um, you can just choose this button and here you can just confirm that. So as you confirm, uh, you can just make a payment, I mean a request for getting back the money that is for the refund and let's create the payment and after reconciliation the payment will be moving to the bank and here you can see that currently the um, a transfer is reversed and under the sale order you would be able to see that um yeah one is reversed and the other one is um uh, the invoice that we have just created and uh, uh, the amount that is refunded will be shown here and the uh, invoice that we have created and reversed every details will be shown here so this is how we manage with the sales return in Odoo 70. Actually, sales return bring a negative aspect for a business, but it also bring a customer satisfaction, brand reputations and repeated purchase in a business. So hope this concept is clear for you. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.